Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Peaches from Lovers for Healthy Life and it has been a while since I did a video, I know. And actually I've done several videos but um, had some technical difficulties uh, trying to use my new camera and they just didn't pan out so those videos are probably just lost. So anyways, um, this spring, well you remember in my last video um, I told you about some trees that we had a uh, chop down. Jesus. Okay, so yeah, imagine 10 of those trees scattered throughout our property. Then we had debris everywhere, and it, it took us several months to really get everything cleaned up. And there are still some spots that aren't cleaned up yet, as of yet. But anyways, my I've been having a cottage garden dream in my head um, and sometimes I write it down on paper so what I've been working on in March um, I've been running outside trying to do a little bit here a little bit there so I'm gonna show you some clips of what I've been working on uh, for my cottage garden okay guys so here is where it all starts this is some um, wood chips that has decomposed uh, from last year and we're gonna be getting some more wood chips as well um, this is actually the second step. Well, let me show you the first step. Okay, so the first step is laying down the cardboard. And sometimes I wet it, sometimes I don't. And so I'm doing finishing over here. And this is my little white picket fence that I installed. And it goes all the way down there. And then on the other side for our entryway. And I've already did this part over here so I've laid some flax down and some tulips that are starting to come up a little bit on my tulips they're not too big but hopefully they'll get bigger next year I've got some lavender planted right there so guys this is what I've been working on all garden start with a nice entryway so right here I did two planters on each side as you walk into my garden um, so we have some super bells right here, some creeping Jenny that's going to be um, cascading over. And then right in the center is some flax lily and more super bells on this side. And hopefully they'll look beautiful. And on this arbor right here, I have Joseph Coat roses that'll be blooming soon. So I can't wait to see the roses. And then in this planter, I have some dahlias, some more, well, this is ivy right here, and then some more super bells. And the same thing in this planter. And the roses are starting to leaf out. So this is another planter that I did, and this is near the front entrance of our home. This will be exploding with So guys, um, if you didn't know, and I'm sure some of you do know, especially if you follow me on Instagram, and if you're not following me on Instagram, that is where I update more regularly, like on a daily basis. And thank you so much for those of you who are following me on Instagram. I'll put a link down below in the description to my Instagram account and I do stories on Instagram short stories that I take with my phone it's really super easy no editing just little short stories about what I'm working on here at Healthy Life Farms so guys I have a lot in store uh, what we're going to be doing um, I have a couple of new raised beds that we're adding to the raised bed garden and right now my raised bed garden is full of veggies So over in this bed, we have our lettuces that we've been harvesting and a little bit of chard in here. There's some chard right there. And over in this bed, we have some red kale. 
And this is my circle bed that I'll be cleaning out in a few um, months, I guess, or so. Then over in this bed, we have some parsley. Parsley is so wonderful. It smells so good and it tastes great in salads. And then we have more red kale right over here. We really did enjoy the red kale this winter and it's still producing for us. And then over here is my carrots in this bed. So many carrots over here and they're really delicious as well. We really love the carrots. And then over in this bed we have some lettuce over here and more of the red kale. And a few more greens over here. I planted red kale in almost every bed this year. So yeah, we really do enjoy this. It has a little milder taste than your curly kale. So this kale right here can be eaten raw, like in salads. So guys, this is what I just harvested for dinner uh, today. Some kale and different types of lettuce. Also some chard in here. You guys, my row garden is a mess right now, but so guys, I have Chinese red mustard growing in my row garden. This is a really good mustard green and I have some, let's see, collar baits right there. So I haven't actually cleaned up my row garden yet, but I will be cleaning it up. So here is the collar baits and mustard greens, Chinese red mustard. Then I have some beautiful drift roses that are really starting to fill out. So I'm going to be getting this area all together here. So in part two of this video, I'm making dehydrated egg powder. So we may be getting um, a freeze dryer, but right now um, we dehydrate our eggs when it's eggs in abundance. Right now we harvest anywhere from 32 to 40 eggs a day. And so we dehydrate some of them and we give a lot of them away. So we've combined all our chickens into one chicken coop. And the chickens really love the kale as well. You guys like this? You guys, we have 47 chickens. And we let them free range out in the woods. So they're doing really good and they provide plenty of eggs for us. Um, we had like three chicken coops so we combined them all into one and it's making life easier for everyone and um, we, we may be taking down one of the chicken coops uh, for some other projects um, here on the homestead and then the other chicken coop we're gonna save for like a chicken hospital slash um, also maybe for some uh, chickens that we uh, put through the incubator. So we've been doing that. Uh, and we did a lot of that last year, so we may be incubating a few more chickens this year as well. So guys, so today I'm making up egg white uh, powder and we actually use the whole egg. I'm going to be cooking um, egg yolks here for the chickens because egg yolks are really healthy for the chickens. They're even better than giving them mealworms, but I do scramble them first and put them away for later. So right now on low heat, I am cooking up the egg whites and I'm cooking them to the point that they're really, really solid and that way I'll be able to dehydrate them. And over here are my eggshells and we compost these eggshells. Um, you can also put these in a blender after you uh, wash them out and dry them and use these for instead of oyster uh, shells for your chickens. But, but we have oyster shells so um, we just uh, put these in compost. So I just make sure as I'm stirring them up and I use 
a non-stick pan. Um, I don't use the cast iron. I just think this non-stick pan um, just works better. And I don't put any oil in here. I just put it on low and use a wooden spoon just to slowly uh, stir up the um, egg whites. Okay guys, so the egg whites is just about done. And these do tend to get a little water in them, so it does evaporate after a while. But I wanted to show you, look how orange the egg yolks are when they cook up. So we just save these for later for the chickens. They absolutely love these egg yolks. Here's the dehydrator I'm using. This is the Excalibur 9 tray dehydrator. And I've already have some eggs that did earlier today in here. And they're dehydrating. So I'm, you can do up to nine trays at a time. These are the ones that I just um, put on the pan. And there you have it. And then I'll show you the next step after the eggs have been dehydrated. So this is what the eggs look like as they're dehydrating. Okay, so basically I had my camera off when I went to dehydrate the eggs this morning. And this is what the powder looks like. And I went ahead and put them in my little glass jar as well. So I'm going to go ahead and reconstitute this. And I'll show you how I do that. So this is about four trays of the powdered egg whites. And I'm going to uh, take the air out of these with my little gadget here, um, my little food saver. And this will probably stay on your shelf for about um, up to two to five years probably. And this is what the powder looks like. Okay, so here are the powder eggs and I vacuum sealed these. And I ended up with three full jars of powder eggs and I have some extras in another jar. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a half a cup of water. And this is the remainder of the egg powder that didn't really make a full jar. So I'm going to use that's one, two, three. We're just going to give that a stir. And I can tell usually by the consistency if this is going to be fine. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit a few minutes and then I'm going to go ahead and blend this up. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and just use my hand mixer to fluff these egg whites up a little bit. So uh, this is what it looks like after I blend it up a little bit with the hand mixer. And we're going to take this over to my stove and we're going to cook it up. Okay, so over here I'm sauteing some onions and peppers. And then we're going to go ahead and pour the egg white powder right over the onions and peppers. So this is going to be more like an egg white scramble. So the little noise you hear is because I'm cooking this on my induction uh, stove top here. So turn up the heat a little bit here. So once this cooks up, um, I'm going to um, add some greens to this because we like our greens with our eggs. Now I'm going to add some greens from the garden to our little egg scramble. And I'm going to cover it up so it can steam a little bit. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and some pepper. 
white and um, black pepper here. And we like to use some vegan cheese on top. Let that simmer a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move the top here. Some of these down. So I'm going to serve this up. Now, you can play with the um, measurements of the eggs for a more fluffier egg. Now, I also have some homemade um, chocolate chip raisin rolls that I made homemade from a hubby. And so this is his finished plate here. I added some organic a turkey because he loves his meat and there you have it a nice breakfast or brunch uh, meal made with powdered eggs taste test for the powdered eggs homemade powdered eggs from our chickens and my wife said it's gonna taste just as good as the eggs before they were dehydrated so we're gonna see if it works this is great for long-term food storage okay, here we go Just kidding. They're great, honey. <laughs> Are they really good? They are really good. I I would not even know the difference from your eggs that have been rehydrated in comparison to your fresh eggs coming straight from you. Straight from the business. These are good.